Windbound, BIOS chip of a Acer, Acer 1, of a Aspire 1, uh, A0, A150. I was replaced by this one from the internet. I broke the chip select uh, pad over there. So I had to rewrite it. Anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I fixed it. And um, this is my netbook. I connected it uh, to the power line. I broke my hard drive inside. Uh, it doesn't boot anymore. Uh, but that was be before the BIOS failure. Uh, so I inserted uh, an USB stick uh, booting uh, backtrack, which also is uh, a bit broken. <laughs> Hopefully it will boot. Anyway, I have uh, connected the keyboard uh, on the netbook, video connected, and uh, we are going to test it. And I hope it works. So I'll turn it on. It turns on. And to many of you, it's just a booting Acer 1. But for me, he is working again. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm very happy. happy. Let's see uh, if we can boot something uh, like uh, this one. Well, it's booting. And uh, I hope it. Uh, We'll go somewhere. Well, it boots back track 5. But something happens. No space left on the device. Well, I probably done something wrong. But it boots. I'm very happy with that. Now, I am not uh, sure if it is possible to um, uh, solder a second chip on it and then uh, use a switch between the chip selects because I have read the data sheet about something pulling high and low and other pins but maybe it's possible I, uh, I hope someone can answer that question or maybe I'll try myself but uh, <laughs> it works again so I'm very happy um, it still looks a bit, uh, a bit dirty because of the flux inside the solder I've used, uh, I've tried to desolder it using uh, a small tip soldering iron from uh, Konrad. Uh, it looks terrible, I know. It's uh, well, a small one, 7.5 watts, 12 volts. Well, it doesn't heat up enough. Uh, like this, and my camera cannot zoom in and out correctly. Anyway, um, that was the, the small one, and I used uh, <laughs> also terrible, but uh, it's the big iron, and the big iron, uh, well, he did his job well. It's a cheap one from, uh, well, I believe Aldi or Lidl. But uh, this one did the job. It's ugly, but uh, I was able to desolder it. So one tip is do not buy uh, this one for really small parts, <laughs> and don't use a big one for small parts, <laughs> because then you broke something, or f will break something. Anyway, I fixed it, and uh, maybe I can uh, rebuild everything inside to. Uh, well, let's make it boot again. Uh, to prove it's uh, Acer. Uh, let's see where it stands. Uh, I believe here, somewhere. Uh. Spire 1 series model number, so you know what it is. My license number from uh, serial code from Windows is a bit broken. I can't help that. Um, and uh, here is the. So you just know uh, it's real. Anyway, you can read the serial luckily. Um, 
Well, that's it. Hope you uh, feel encouraged to fix your netbook if it's broken the same way or it's a different one. Anyway, it's possible. Uh, I've done it in uh, about an hour because I got a chip today. And uh, well, you can always fix it. This is the hard drive, probably broken because it's. Well, I will take a look at it. And this big egg, uh, battery. You can also connect that to. Uh, so luckily, I can use it because my other netbook. Well, <laughs> uh, it doesn't take this batteries anyway. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, what kind of wire I did I use? Uh, I bought this from a game console modding store. And uh, oh, you can see it really. Uh, it's wire wrap wire, yeah. Made in the USA, luckily for them. Uh, a VG wire. 30. Anyway, I have, I have a lot of it, and uh, I've used to uh, mod my uh, PlayStation 2, my Xbox. Uh, it was sold for hacking your Wii. Well, I have a Wii, but I didn't hack it uh, the hardware way. Anyway, uh, I now have this one, and uh, I'll keep it. Maybe I'll read it with my programmer, but this is the official one. Well, anyway, you can see that. And, uh, um, I bought this from eBay, from a nice store, BIOS Depot, from the USA. And uh, they sold me this chip in a, in a, pr a protective uh, shielding package. A sticker around it inside that package and then uh, wait yeah it broke inside uh, of here by mail today it took two weeks they sent it over as a gift and uh, well that's okay so UPS it was around twenty dollars and I believe that's well worth the trouble but uh, it works so now I go to try to put some kind of hard drive card or whatever inside to boot Linux yes it will be my Linux PC uh, first of all I broke my hard drive so I lost uh, Windows and second of all I have another netbook with uh, Windows already so it will be uh, a Linux only box so take care have a, have a nice day and uh, see you around